before I start this video, I want to ask you to support me by subscribing to my channel. And please like this video if you find it helpful. And of course, if you have some questions or suggestions, welcome to the comments. And we jump right in. After installing Anchor, an assets folder appeared in your project with several files inside. Here you can see ArcGIS file and you can think about it like a standalone JavaScript application which simply pulls up all the required dependencies. So, the main Anchor's job is to read and follow all of the import statements and create one final ArcGIS and AppCSS that contains everything your application needs. And also Anchor can do some extra work, for example, minify files, preprocess SAS less, support React, Vue.js, and so on. In the root folder of your project, you can find a webpack config.js file. Let's open it. It already contains the basic configuration you need. Actually, uh, here you tell to webpack how to behave. As you can see, there are a lot of settings. For each, there is a comment and you can explore to find out what is needed for what. But the most important setting in this config file is add entry. Here it. It tells Anchor to load the app.js from the assets folder and follow all of the required statements. And because of this app argument, it will package everything together and output final app.js and app.css files into the public build directory. To build the assets, use this command. It will compile assets and automatically recompile when files change. After executing the command, uh, we have a new folder, here read, with uh, some files inside. Uh, and uh, for example, this file holds all the JS for your app entry. And this file holds all the CSS for your app entry. And uh, for example, this file helps Webpack to do its job. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next time.